exactly. some distance. <laughs> All right, Brittany, our temperatures here at home, they are absolutely perfect. They really are perfect. It doesn't feel like August at all. We're in the mid 60s throughout the area. So if you want to go out exercising this morning, it is perfect weather for by 7 a.m. Looking at temperatures near 66 degrees. Then by 8 a.m. We're in the lower 70s. It's not near as humid as it has been for the past several days. Thanks to drier air that has settled back into the region. So we're feeling it very close to the actual temperature, not 10 to 15 degrees warmer like we were dealing with over the weekend. So that means no heat advisories, no excessive heat warnings. In effect, for the next several days, it's just going to remain tranquil and comfortable thanks to high pressure that is set up over the area. Our temperatures are going to stay below normal in the afternoon for the highs and in the mornings. Typically, we see highs about 94 degrees. For the next couple of days, we're going to be closer to that 90 degree mark. But next week, that's when we're going to start to see some of that humidity returning to the area and our temperatures also warming back into the mid 90s. It's not going to be quite as bad as what we saw last weekend, but it's not going to be quite as comfortable as what we're looking at for this afternoon either. Right now on Storm Shield radar, we have high pressure over the area, so no rain out there. It's all sitting off to the west, and that's where it's going to stay for the next several days. We're still running about 11 inches above normal on rainfall for the year here in Tulsa and just got a couple hundredths of an inch of rain so far for this month. But Bartlesville in the last 20 days has seen over an inch and a half of rain, nearly a half an inch here in Tulsa, about a quarter of an inch in Muskogee and McAllister. You guys have been a little bit drier for about the past month, only seeing a couple hundredths of an inch of rain. Most of those fronts have been right along the Kansas border, and that's why we saw those higher rainfall totals in that area. Right now, those 65 degrees out there, clear sky, so it is a beautiful sunrise. 60 in Bartlesville, 62 in Coffeyville, 61 right now in Vanita and Tahlequah, 63 in Grove, even in Ponca City. So you may need to grab that light jacket, especially if the kids are headed out to the bus stop and they don't like the cooler temperatures quite as much. They may want that light jacket just for the morning hours, but this afternoon it's looking great. We have light northeasterly winds all day long, lots of sunshine, some clouds mixed into the area, but any of that green that we saw indicating the rain, that is going to stay well west of our area with clear sky guys overnight and a lot of sunshine on the way as we start off our Thursday morning. So it is going to be a great day tomorrow morning to check out that person meteor shower as well with the clear skies and then nothing but sunny skies as we head throughout Thursday as well. Thanks to high pressure over the area. So if you are headed out to any of the area lakes for one last time before some of those school start temperatures near 83 degrees by noon. 89 is the high for here in Tulsa and then by 10 p.m. temperatures near 74 degrees and lake levels are still looking pretty good. They subside significantly. Still up four feet in Ulga as well as Keystone running at normal and Grand and Skyatook and two feet above normal at Fort Gibson. This afternoon, temperatures staying in the mid to upper 80s. 88 is a high for Oak Mulgee, 87 in Bristow, 86 in Ponca City, and 89 here in Tulsa. And then tonight, temperatures are back down into the 60s. I'll have a look at that seven day forecast coming up.